Dr. Rachel Rubin. I'm a urologist and one of the few fellowship trained in sexual medicine. It was the persistence of one person during an expert roundtable that I think changed the world. In 2014, experts gathered to change an outdated, outdated term, vulvovaginal atrophy, used to describe vaginal dryness and painful sex. It was my mentor, Dr. Erwin Goldstein, who helped pioneer Viagra, was the only urologist there. He insisted on adding the word urinary, shifting the focus to the genitourinary system and making it clear that this was not just a gynecological issue, but a full body health issue. The new term became GSM, genitourinary syndrome of menopause. The truth is, menopause is a castration event which drastically worsens the health of the genitourinary tissue, and without hormonal support, it never fixes itself. The genital and urinary tissues are full of estrogen and androgen receptors. Like a plant needing water, without hormones, we see changes in the microbiome, a loss of acidity, and a decimation of the healthy bacteria, which translates into symptoms like urinary frequency, urgency, recurrent urinary tract infections, vaginal dryness, and pain with sex. Every day, I climb on my soapbox and educate nonstop to patients, clinicians, and my social media followers about the genitourinary syndrome of menopause and the magic of local vaginal hormones to cure it. And holy moly, are vaginal hormones magical. Here's the secret. Local vaginal hormones, estrogen and DHEA, are not only similar to, but actually way better than Viagra. Because not only do they help with sex and urinary symptoms, they prevent urinary tract infections big time. This guideline supported fact says that we can prevent more than 50% of people's urinary tract infections with local vaginal hormones, and we have known this for decades. So why haven't you heard of this before? Because your doctor doesn't know this either. And because my friends, women's health has a marketing problem. UTIs, by the way, don't just mess with the quality of your life. They kill the people you love, a lot of people and it costs us taxpayers a lot of money. UTIs cost 7 million hospital visits a year and make up 25% of infections in older adults. Mortality from UTIs is rising, and we, we all know that chronic antibiotic use is extremely dangerous. A 2024 uh, publication by our sexual medicine research team showed that if women in Medicare used vaginal estrogen, which the cash price can be as low as $13 a tube, we could save our government billions of dollars per year in reduced UTI costs. This is why my colleagues and I have spent the last seven years advocating for the American Neurological Association clinical guidelines on GSM. Endorsed across multiple specialties, these guidelines clearly state that local vaginal hormones are safe, effective, and essential. And yet, FDA, your box label that was blanketly placed on all products in 2003 has no data to support its existence when it comes to these local vaginal hormones. And it scares patients and clinicians daily. Surely, 22 years later and consensus guidelines later, this deserves another look. There is not a single study in the literature that says local vaginal estrogen causes stroke, blood clots, heart attacks, breast cancer, or probable dementia which is what your box says, not a single study. But FDA, I'm actually here for a personal reason. Honestly, your label tried to kill my mother. She was in the ICU for six months. While in a coma, immunocompromised, and with a catheter, the team refused to start her home dose of local vaginal estrogen. They had never heard of it before, let alone in the ICU setting. They justified their answer, their no, by saying the box says stroke, heart attacks, and blood clots. I rolled up my sleeves and I showed them the data and insisted. Eurosepsis could quickly kill her. Once they realized I wasn't backing down, I had the data behind me and I helped them write the prescription myself. But of course, the pharmacy wouldn't dispense it because their computer had a big warning alert that came up that said, warning, stroke, blood clots, and heart attacks. My family and I had to get even louder. When the tube of estrogen finally got to her room, we encountered another hurdle. The nurses had never heard of it, 
and had no idea how to give it. My family figured it out. But what does everybody else do? UTIs kill our patients every day. So I'm here to beg you, FDA, use the appropriate channels and processes in place to remove that box label. My mom and family deserve better. All families deserve better. Thank you.